Hello greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and I have another clip. This one was kind of boring at first, but you know, there's something about the old mundaneness of the 60s that I just couldn't, I, I couldn't edit out. This is the car wash. <laughs> and I remember uh, Dad would offer to pay us 35 cents. This is Sherry, I believe, washing the car all by herself. And not just the inside, but the outside too. And so what we got here is uh, Scotty and Lynn riding their trikes around the yard, which isn't easy when you're talking about grassy, unlevel ground. And in the meantime, Sherry's up there buffing and wa washing and waxing the old Buick. If I'm not too mistaken, I think this was a, a 1957 Buick, I think. And now she's going to clean up the inside and wash the windows on the inside. She had to wash the grass off her feet first. While the rest of us putter around and mom takes video. <laughs> This um, strange brick circle never made sense to me. Maybe my great aunt and uncle were planning on digging out a, a swimming pool here, but for whatever reason, they just left it half done and we used to march around it for fun. There's me on the right, checking out the Sherry's job. I believe Scotty's four going on five, or somewhere around in there. Maybe he's only three. Hard to tell. But this interesting thing to me is that none of this is here. This is, uh, there's now a high school on this corner. All of that pasture land across the street there, that's all apartment buildings. Off in the distance, you can't really see it. It's off the um, left-hand screen. There is a drive-in movie theater you can see from our house. We used to, <laughs> we used to sit up late in summer evenings and watch the movie even though we couldn't hear any of the words and couldn't figure out what the plot was about. It was always too early to really go asleep. See, now Lynn's not going to get very far on this tricycle in this grassy uneven terrain. Give it up, honey. There you go. There's the back of Lynn's head. And here is a skiing trip. I think this might be the last one we took. I think it's 66 or maybe 67. Now check him out. This is my Uncle Dayton. What an athlete. Wow.
Is he amazing or what? Nice landing. Wow. And there's my dad with the black shorts. He's getting ready to ski. With those broad shoulders, he's quite the Scot. And there he goes. Also, wow, what an athlete. Fantastic. Check him out. Oops, he fell. Wow. So here you can compare and contrast those athletes with me in the water, trying to keep my skis straight up and down, which ain't easy, McGee, I gotta tell ya. And I'm trying to get up. Down I go. Darn those skis. They want to float and, and it's just so hard to keep them straight, especially when they're dragging you through the water. And down I go again. Here's my little brother. Smile, Scotty. Smile. 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 All right, don't smile. I'm down again. And you can see it's getting later and later in the afternoon. I am pitiful. Until finally, miraculously, oops, darn it, not there. <laughs> My form is horrible. I am leaning forward. My knees aren't bent right. <sighs> Check out this form. My legs are too far apart. I need to keep them together. <sighs> All right. I am not an athlete. Check out that form. Is that just, oh, that is so bad. Bad. Look, my knees are locked. Oh, I don't know what's keeping me up. And I'm happy. Whatever. See you next time. Bye, everyone.